Coyotes are the ultimate animal scapegoat. Whenever the deer population's on decline, they seem to get blamed. But are they really the main predator? Here, I'm gonna use a unique experiment to investigate this question, and I think the results will surprise you. What are the main predators of baby deer? And oh, I can grab them by the head! Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Roland Kays, and I study the secret lives of wild animals. Can you keep it up for gators and snakes? I will. Nice day, I'm Ojo. Now, animals run away from me just like they do you when I'm out in nature, but that's where technology comes in. To help me get this amazing footage, I use camera traps like this to record what animals are doing when they don't think anyone's watching. I've run thousands of camera traps all around the world, and the goal is to observe where animals live, to see how they're adapting to humans on the landscape, and to hopefully see how they're interacting with each other. Now the trick is, these interactions are really rare. I mean, a prey is only gonna get predated once in its life, and its life's over. So in order to study this phenomenon, we're gonna cheat for science. This is a box of baby deer decoys, AKA fawn. And in this case, we're gonna put these out in the woods in front of a camera trap and see how many predators we can trick into revealing their secrets. But to understand why this really matters, we need to step back and look at some basic ecology. Deer are really important parts of our ecosystem. They're herbivores, and they can have a big effect on our forest. For example, forest that has a lot of deer might look like this. Look at the ground. There are like no baby trees coming up because every time they sprout, a deer comes along and eats them. If this keeps happening over time, deer can completely prevent reforestation. So the big question is, what is the survival rate of these hiding fawns? And what are their major predators? Because if a deer dies at this young age, it doesn't grow up to eat the forest. We set up our camera traps across eastern North Carolina, hiding them in the woods and placing the fawn decoy in front. We put just a tiny amount of deer urine at the site, trying to simulate the real situation that these hiding fawns are in. Then we make sure the motion sensor is working and leave the experiment to be discovered by the predators. It's been two weeks. It's time to go back into the forest and see if we've tricked any predators with our fake fawn. Our first deer, a little floppy. You've served us well, young fawn. This little fawn was not over here upside down, it was over there. Something has hit this. The camera trap's got it, so we'll find out. Still holding air, not punctured, so that's good. He's done a bit of a face plant. Camera's there, so we'll find out. 24 videos, 23 videos, 6, 13, 38. Is our best one yet? 102 videos. This is like a Christmas present right here. But there's no fawn. I don't know where it is. I gotta find it. Something or somebody came through here, saw our fawn, grabbed it, and ran off with it. All right, let's find this fawn. But as soon as we can get back to the lab, we can plug these memory cards in and see what we got. I'm super excited to see what, if anything, was attracted to these fawns. Plug this in. This is the one that I remember because it was kind of in an open area and this was the fawn that w disappeared. I had no idea what it actually was, but the camera got it. Check it out. This is uh, set up here. A deer in the background looking at the fawn, looking right at the camera and the fawn. That's cool. Looks perplexed. Oh, we got a hawk or a bird. What is it? Oh, it's a vulture. It's a turkey vulture. Did the turkey vulture actually carry it away? That would be crazy. Oh, he's picking at it. He's picking at the ear. He's totally trying to eat this thing. Okay, now the vulture's gone and there's another bird. I think that might be an owl. It might be a baby owl. It's in the background. Oh, now it's right in front, it's got its arms out. Oh my God. And oh, he grabbed him by the head. Yes, incredible. This owl just attacked and now he's pecking at it. Oh, he is so fooled. Look at that. I think that's a great horned owl. Is it or is it a young barred owl? He's still there. This owl wants to eat this deer. Wow, who knew that owls would hunt the deer as well? I have no idea that, I mean, I guess an owl would eat anything, but he's still going after it. Oh, he's pecking at the eyes. He's flapping his wings. I guess it just shows you that these fawns are really defenseless and everything is looking to eat them, even an owl. This guy's like going after it. Oh, he's carried it away. He's pecking at it. Oh, he's looking right at the camera. That is one confused owl right there. And, oh, now there's two of them. Look at this. Yeah, that's the, you can see that the, the, the owl, the great horned owl's ears. I wonder if one of these is a young one. Maybe we tricked the baby and the mom's here like, you dumb young bird. Oh, and there he dragged it off to the side. But now I guess we know what happened to this, uh, to our decoy, dragged off by owls. 
Oh, here's a possum. I was thinking the possums might be a species that would attack this thing, because they're pretty stupid. Peering in from the side, here he comes, here he comes, walking up slowly. He is not sure what to think. Nose to nose. What's he, oh, what's he gonna do? No, that's it. I thought he was gonna box it or something like that, but he just walked by. Raccoons are, raccoons are pretty smart. Oh, coyote. She's just cruising right by in the rain, in the background. So we had our first coyote. In this case, he cruised right behind, uh, didn't seem to notice it. Uh, I don't know if he saw it and knew it wasn't a, um, a real fawn, or if he didn't even notice it at all. It was raining, so it may have washed away the scent already. A two, oh, there's a mom and a, and a fawn. Another deer, got a little freaked out. So that was fun, checking out camera trap footage for the first time is always super exciting because you just never know what you're gonna get. And in this case, it was extra exciting because it wasn't just some random place in the woods, it was a fawn decoy trying to trick the predators. And the big question, is it gonna work? We got the answer, yes, it does work. It does fool some animals at least some of the times. In particular, we really pulled one over on the owls and we learned that owls will attack young deer as well. In total, 75% of the predators we caught on camera actually approached the decoy, and half of them literally attacked it. Look at this bear get after it. You've gotta wonder, what's going on in his head when he pounces and gets a mouthful of plastic instead of a furry meal? Overall, it wasn't the coyotes that were the dominant predators of our fawns, it was the black bears. But coyotes did get their share. What was remarkable, really, was the diversity of predators ready to take advantage of an easy venison meal, including bobcats and even little gray foxes. I was also surprised to see the black vultures show up and start tearing into these decoys, not just once, but lots of times. We normally think of these vultures as just scavengers, but they are known to prey on newborn mammals and are infamous among ranchers for even being able to kill newborn calves. Thanks for joining me on Wild Animals, the fawn episode. This research project was really dreamed up by my grad student, Haley Boone, and she ran most of the cameras, did a great job analyzing the data, so kudos to her. We also had funding from uh, NC State University, the NC Museum of Natural Sciences, and the NC Wildlife Resources Commission. Now, we've got lots more to come. I've got lots of cameras out there right now, running, capturing new wildlife stories, so be sure to subscribe and tune in. It's gonna be wild.